Do you feel like you're being used for free labor? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lori. So unpaid internships are a pretty controversial topic because on one hand, they give you a foot in the door when you have you know, no experience and you're just a student. And on the other, they can be abused to make desperate people do grunt work for little to no money. It can also be one of the reasons why it's almost impossible for some people to break into some industries if they don't come from money. But since unpaid internships are still the reality today, I wanted to share with you guys five tips on how to make a potentially negative experience into a positive one that'll benefit you. My very first tip is to hang tight because a terrible internship is still an internship. So if you're looking for that very first internship and the best you can do is some unpaid gig at a no-name company, take it. This might require getting a second job and it'll drive you crazy sometimes and have you questioning your life choices. But what that internship will do to you is make you a more viable candidate for the next internship because it'll be an entry on that resume. Even when an internship is bad, being employed at a company for a certain amount of time shows that you are employable, which is very important and that you are seriously interested in an industry. When you get to the point where you want to reach out to that next company that has a better job to offer you, you can say, hi, I'm so-and-so, I work at this company to try to gain experience and I'd like to expand my experience in this field by asking you for the next opportunity. And that'll pack a much heavier punch than, hi, I'm just a regular no-name person who you've never heard of and I've never done anything to show my serious interest in your field, but I'd like an opportunity from you. My second tip when you find yourself in a crappy unpaid internship is to be observant. If you're observant while you're at a company, you could actually learn a lot just from lurking around the office. Not a lot of people get the chance to go inside the doors and behind the scenes of what a company is doing, so take advantage of that opportunity. They might have you answering phones, so who's calling? How do they handle clients? Um, is the workplace functional or dysfunctional? These are all things that you can learn from. There are, there are other things you can learn from silently observing, like how are the meetings run, or who at the company has a job that you might like to have. If this is your first job in that sort of environment, you can look around and see are there certain people who are more difficult to work with and how do people deal with them. Regardless of the quality of your internship, you could be working at a great company or a bad company, so learn from both their achievements and their mistakes. Do people seem happy? Are they working obscenely long hours? Is that something that you might have to look forward to when you eventually do get a full-time job in that field? These are all valuable lessons that you're not just going to learn in a classroom, so just remember that Succeeding in a field isn't just about honing your own skill or your own craft. It's about understanding how what you do fits into what the company does as a whole. My third tip is take that observation a step further and ask questions shamelessly. Your employer might not be the best at teaching or mentoring interns. In fact, they may not even care. But that doesn't mean that you can't learn from them. It just means that it's going to be up to you to squeeze all the learning that you can out of them. Every time you end up with a few seconds alone with someone or maybe in an elevator with someone, take that as an opportunity to ask as many questions as you can about the company. If you feel like you're not getting enough work or enough responsibility, ask why and ask what you can do in order to get more responsibility responsibility and maybe get a few tasks that they didn't think to give the intern. Ask people about their personal backgrounds too. What school did they go to? What did they study? And what was their path leading up to the job that they're in now? These questions will not only help you get to know the people that you work with and maybe even make you some friends, but will be the beginnings of you forming your network within the industry. My fourth tip is do not wait for anyone else to help you. Even in the best of internship programs, interns are often forgotten or just treated as an afterthought after the first couple of days because Remember, business was going on before you got there and will go on after you leave. Your coworkers and boss could be the nicest people ever, but that doesn't mean that they're going to be always thinking of you for every opportunity that comes up for you to develop your career. So it's basically up to you to make sure you raise your hand for any possible opportunity to capture more experience or to take on more responsibility, maybe even in ways that they never even thought of. Keep your eyes peeled. If something, any small thing comes up, volunteer to do it. If you see some way that you can make someone's job easier, easier in the office, ask if you can help them. And if you see everyone walking towards a conference room to a staff meeting that you weren't invited to, ask if you can join in just to listen and observe. This is really a crucial step because you got to remember, there are some great bosses out there who will always remember to include you and to think about your development over the course of the internship program, but most are just too busy. My fifth and last tip for today is know what your end goal is. Getting an internship isn't the jackpot, it's just the first step. So just remember that in the three months, six months, a year, or what, however long that you're in that job, the whole point is to gain experience that you can add onto your resume. 
that means you have to know what looks impressive on your resume and pouring coffee and running errands for six months is not going to do that for you. Neither is quitting after one month because you couldn't figure out a way to learn from your experience. Something that might look good is helping to execute a project and seeing it through or taking on some sort of daily responsibility or task in the office. It could be really mundane, but those are the sorts of things that show that you actually got something out of your time at that company. Keeping your resume in mind, make sure you impress your boss and your coworkers so that you can tap them for a reference when you need it. If you're in a creative field, adding to your portfolio is also necessary. If it takes the whole time that you're at that job just to get one quality addition to your portfolio, work on that. Then once you feel like you've gotten all you could get out of that experience, move on to the next one. So to wrap up, just remember that there are lots of things you can get from an internship aside from money and obviously relevant experience. Even the worst internship has something to offer. Hopefully one day industries will realize that there's actually value in opening internships up and paying people enough so that lots of people with talent will have access to those jobs. Until then, paying your dues doesn't always have to mean passively spending your time in some unpaid or low paid gig that you really hate. You can turn it into a positive experience with a little hard work and a really good attitude. That concludes this week's video on Real Talk About Real Life where I open a discussion with you guys and share experiences so that we can help each other out in dealing with real life issues. Subscribe or check back every week for videos like this if you're about that hustle and you just want to be around like-minded people. If you have an internship horror story or some tips on how other people can survive their horrible internships, let me know in the comments and definitely share this video with other people who might be going through the same thing or might have something to add. By the way, I might be changing my schedule up, so if you have any preferences for which days you like to see videos uploaded, definitely let me know. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!